Man, I see your truck, bro. I know, I Yeah. Man, you got a nice truck, bro. What's up, man? Keith, bro. Nice to meet you, bro. Everybody, it's your boy Q. You know who? Back, back, oh, back. <laughs> with another video. Thank y'all for come kicking it with your boy Q today, guys. You ready to title the video? That's right, man. I hate to break it to you. I know it hurt your feelings. The title probably hurt your feelings. I know it did. I'm sorry, but I got to be the one to break it to you. Not everybody loves your lifted truck. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel. Like I said, it's your boy Q. You know who. I just want to do back, back, back again, man. I, I just, back. Let's do back. Hold on, I messed it up. Back. You know what I'm saying? We back, baby, with another video. I wasn't going outside for y'all, but it's actually currently raining outside, so we won't be doing that. I have on my lifted truck now. I'm red, if you're new to the channel. For what, four years now, just about? When you usually find other truck enthusiasts and people who love trucks, they love the truck. They love the way red looks. I get compliments all the time. There are also those people that I get dirty looks from, stares from, or you know, people who make certain comments. So let's talk about those people. Those, those are the people I want to address here today. Those are the people, like I said, that really don't like your lifted truck. You might be in love with it and they hate it. They think it's stupid. And number one is gonna be your guys who basically think, or gals, gals, who basically think that a truck should be used for truck stuff, which is towing, hauling, and things like that. So they basically say my truck is big for no reason, has these big wheels and tires, I don't do anything with it, I don't tow. Basically, it's just a show truck is what they say. It's just a stupid big show truck that has no importance, I guess, to what they would consider a real truck. It's not a real man's truck. You got those guys, you got those people that are out there. You know, that truck will never see mud. That truck will never tow anything. And the, the other one, oh, it's not a diesel. In this case, I'm just kind of talking about my truck. Oh, it's, it's not a diesel. You know, it's not a real truck. Get a real truck. So yeah, you got those guys, you got those people. I ain't gonna say guys, gonna be girly guys, but you just got those people. Number two on my list, <laughs> that's not a list, let me not say that. Number two, the other person I find that don't really like my lifted truck or lifted trucks in general are people in smaller cars or SUVs, bro. You know why? Because we block their vision all the time. When they're behind us, you can't see anything behind in front of Red when you're behind me. When I'm in front of you, you know, I find this funny. When I'm in front and we're both making, I'm making a left-hand turn, you're making a left-hand turn. People can't see past my truck to see if oncoming traffic is coming. So they have to kind of like creep out, creep out. And I can see them like bending around my truck trying to see. They hate it. Every time I see, I look at their face, they roll their eyes like, oh my God, you can see like, oh my God big truck you know like all the time so people who are in lower cars or suv don't like it because they we just block their visibility they literally cannot see around the truck and i experienced this personally myself one day when my guy d mills was behind me we was going to show i literally could not see the other trucks that was trailing us behind him i, I just his truck was so big and so wide i just couldn't see anything so yeah those are the people the people we block their vision they about to get in an accident, trying to cross the intersection, trying to look around your big old lifted truck that you think is so cool, but to them it's annoying as hell. The next thing people don't like about big old lifted truck, blinds them, dead in the eyes. Guys, so you know, when they made the truck factory from stock, they had the headlights adjusted, the truck is down here, you know, it's not blinding people. When you lift your truck, bro, your headlights are now way from here, this is just an example, from here to here. So you're likely shooting people directly in the eyes and you know what i find it's not even my headlights it's my fog lights they are the ones shooting people directly in the eyes <laughs> so i find a lot of people flash me you know you know i try to turn off my fog lights because i noticed that the fog lights are the one giving them the issue so they hate it it blinds them they cannot stand it i get flashed all the time i'm telling you guys even if you were to adjust your headlights bro you you're still gonna blind people i still blind people even if you're adjusting properly it's just it's just the it's just the height of the truck, man. You're usually shooting people directly in the eye. That's the next one. We blind them. People can't stand it. They can't see. They're about to wreck. You know what's going on, Casey? My neighbor. Hello. 
How you doing? Good. You can't see, you're blinding them. Boom, I mean, that's it. So they hate it. They're like, dude, why are you blinding me? Come below if you get flashed. I get flashed all the time. And at this point, I don't even care no more. I feel bad, but I just can't. It is what it is. Next thing on my list. You know, we got that big, thick, big old thick truck. Ooh, that thing thick, looking good. Wop, wop, the whoop. These big old thick tires, oftentimes what they do, they also throw back a lot of rocks and a lot of debris. My truck had got stuck in the mud. I was riding. Dude, I was... That's probably my fault, but I was throwing rocks and dirt all back behind me. I know I was. You, you've been riding behind some of the trucks before and they kick up rocks and most likely crack your windshield, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so these big old wheels and tires, they stick out far, it looks good, she look thick. You know how we say it, like, like we like to say it, real thick, but those thick old tires. Thick old tires, thick old tires. Tires throw back a lot of debris, man. But you probably say, hey Q, they shouldn't be trailing that close anyway. They really should be trailing that close. But yeah they throw off the debris and people don't like that the next one can be a good or bad thing you probably don't really care what people think but if you're a younger kid i can guarantee you right now if you're 18 19 with a nice lifted truck people automatically assume that you have daddy's money ain't no beating around the bush it is what it is you like automatically have to go into like defense mode like hey you know i've been working since this i've been saving since this i'm telling you guys when you gotta lift the truck and you're if you got a truck i'm gonna say like red if you're under 25 People are gonna think that you got daddy's money because parts on the trucks are expensive, tires are expensive, wheels are expensive, and people know how much this stuff costs. And they're like, dude, you're 25, 24, 23. How can you afford a truck like that? It's your daddy's money. And, that, and I'm just saying, guys, that may not be the case. That may not be true. This is just me giving the, that's the stereotype you hear when you see a young kid driving a truck like this. They're gonna assume you got daddy's money. And you very, very well may work hard for your truck and built in bottle yourself. But people are going to assume that you're a spoiled, rich kid and you got daddy's money. And with that, they don't like you. <laughs> I'm just saying they don't like you because I worked hard for my truck, but you just got a dad who's willing to pay for everything. They don't like you, bro. And I'm not trying to be negative here, guys. I promise. I'm just literally just what I've experienced on my truck the last four years. A lifted truck the last four years. Being in the circle, being in the niche. It's just me sharing my opinion and what I've experienced over the years. And last but not least, women think you're overcompensating, bro. They think you got the little bitty man downstairs that ain't doing no work, you feel me? That's probably hella inappropriate. <laughs> but whatever, y'all know what I'm saying. Women think a man with a big truck like this is overcompensating for other areas. Either he's short in height, or he has an ego issue, low self-esteem, or downstairs just ain't what's up, you feel me? So he drives a big truck to compensate for that and it, it is what it is i hear it all the time from women bro like no cap i'm pretty sure y'all have heard that too want to make that quick video not everybody loves you lift the truck and those people i ain't gonna say those people it's not really people it's just situations that i've kind of experienced that lift the truck isn't always the most popular thing as you and i might like it because y'all know this a lift the truck channel or a truck channel and you you know we love it but not everybody like you lift the truck bro and i'm just saying those the people the situation i named the people in situations that's why they don't like it. They don't like it, bro. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I ain't even want to post this one. I might post it. I honestly, sometimes I, I record video guys that I don't post because I feel like they're they're just stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. But I think this was a little funny. Not everybody loves your lifted truck, but I love my lifted truck. And I guess at the end of the day, most of you pro most of you probably are going to say if you love it, that's all that matter. Forget what everybody else said. And I agree, hundred percent. But anyway, man, solid guys. Your boy Q. I'll catch y'all next, baby. Peace. Hey, what's up guys? For those who have stuck around to this point of video, thank you for sticking around. That means you're a real one. And you will be rewarded for sticking around. So y'all know I have my Lost Fit match now for about two years, right? These babies right here, big time Lost Fit match. You can see they dirty. But two years later, these things are still holding up pretty, pretty good. Now, personally, I don't do any off-road and mudding and things like that. Y'all know me if you watch the channel. But you can see my mats still do get dirty when it rains. I do step in mud occasionally, stuff like that. You can see my mats are still holding up great. But with the mud and everything I just said, look at this, watch the coverage. My floors are still clean. Look at that. My floors are clean. Now that's just the imprint from the mat, but there's no dirt. Now that's dirt, but underneath there where the mat was, still pretty clean. So with that being said, that's my favorite thing about the mat, the fitment and the protection and coverage they provide. That being said, they are time for a cleaning. So I am gonna show you how easy 
these things hard to clean and why I love them so much. You know what, we gonna up the ante just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put some ketchup on them. Like real world stuff, man. Some of y'all got kids, things like that. So I know you might have spills and all that in your truck and car and things like that. So we gonna go ahead and throw some ketchup on these things. I'm just gonna show y'all how easy they are to clean. That's what we got. Our ketchup right here, as you can see. We gonna go ahead and just put some of this on there, all that good stuff. I'm gonna do two packets just for y'all. Huh? There we go. We go up it a little bit. I'm gonna rub that in there. Rub that on there, kid. So let's see, clean these things off. So we got one. quality these floor mats are definitely more sturdy i wouldn't say they're soft they're very very sturdy as you can see but they hold their shape very very well also it does allow me a lot more traction when i'm driving you know with the car the truck with these floor mats now for a slip ridge are they slippery now i'm gonna show y'all we're gonna show them right here I, I just cleaned them but look let's put my foot on it my foot not really slide see what i'm saying so yeah man i mean it's a great mat guy i had these now like i said two years i love them i still love them I have no regrets about uh, these mats at all. They are healthy shape, they form excellent. Okay guys, and here's the final product of the mat. You can see where I pour the ketchup, you can no longer even see it. Now excuse me, like there's some overspray on here because I was cleaning the truck while they dried, but yeah, look at that, clean. Easy to clean, great mat held up for two years, no complaints. And with that being said, me and LostFit are partnering in this video to give you, F-150 owner, between 2015 year to 2022, a free set of those lost fit floor mat guys yes this is me and lost fit like fifth fourth fifth time giving away a set of these mat because they are great mats i'm not gonna cap so the fact that they keep giving them away to y'all <laughs> i'm telling y'all bro they don't you ain't gonna be disappointed so only thing you gotta do to enter to win one you gotta be subscribed to the youtube channel two you gotta go follow at lostfit.liners on instagram i'll put it there for you and all these details will be in the description of the video on how to enter then send proof to me that you are doing both of those at Williams LaQuincy at Gmail. I put that right there. Picture, proof, snap, screenshot, whatever. Proof of those two, and you're entered to win. All the details of what I just said will be down there, so don't worry about it. Don't ask me. Go down in the description and read it and get you a chance to win. Use some floor mats, guys. But anyway, man, that's all I got. Thank y'all for watching to the end of this video. It's your boy Q. Thank you again for watching for sponsoring this video, and we'll catch y'all next one. Peace. <laughs>